I'll include the link in the description where at 30 seconds in this DW News clip, this woman says that the fire came out of nowhere and that it felt like a hurricane force wind that came with it. I've seen her testimonial on multiple different news broadcasts. Just to avoid a copyright strike, I'll just leave it there, linked in the description. I'll also leave a video that I made just a few months ago on ion wind, also known as ionic wind, corona wind, or electric wind, that is associated with these fires. Each and every time, from paradise to boulder, it's always associated with a huge wind that comes out of nowhere. And I'll just go through some of the screenshots that I've taken. As you can see, it's all the same patterns. The glass is melted out of these cars. The rims are melted onto the ground and running down the street. And the trees are still standing and have their leaves on them. A lot of it gets redundant and repetitive. Here, you can see the train track on fire. Uh, that's on a BBC News broadcast if you want to find it. I'm going to kind of blaze past this one because there's plenty of these and it just gets repetitive and that was a animal that was deceased. Many of these show... Let's look at this staircase. You can see the bottom stairs, the slats that you step on are still there. Along with all the hand railing, but the upper stairs above the third or fourth stair are all burnt out. Fire doesn't work that way. A lot of them have the roofs burned off, but the walls are still standing. Many of these images are just to show that the trees are still standing in between all of the houses. Standard plasma fire burn signatures everywhere. And because it became so repetitive, I'll just cruise through some of these screenshots until we get to, to some that are of noteworthy, like these. Zero glass in any of the cars. Melted rims, no door handles, all the same patterns that I've identified hundreds of times, and the trees are still standing, most of them still have their leaves on them. Again, trees in the background, destruction all over. I'll leave a link in the description to an 8 minute video that's a flyover. No narration. No talking head trying to tell you what you're looking at. Just a flyover of eight solid minutes of what happened here. Notice the poles are still standing. Some of them are repeats. Notice the poles are still standing. And we even have grass sticking up here in the foreground. My point is, this is 100% plasma fire. Slightly different burn signature on the houses that are not all pulverized to dust. Which is what we've seen so often in so many of the other plasma fires. But I think it's because they use different building material. Their walls are built out of, I believe it's brick and then a stucco applied on the outside of the brick. Look at all the leaves and all the foliage. The house is burned. The foliage in between the houses is left unburned. All over, trees standing everywhere in between all of the houses. It just gets repetitive and redundant, and I don't like being the only one that can see this. Notice the trees still standing. And the cars are turned to, they have the rust, which is electrolysis. And melted glass in each one of these cars, I guarantee you could look down into the cab and see the melted glass where it pooled up. We're missing the door handles. The rust pattern on all of the cars. Fire doesn't rust a car, but this type of fire does. So no door handles on any of them. No glass. Melted rims. Rusted look. Or that white look. I'm not like here trying to convince anyone that doesn't know about plasma fire. I'm just here to, on this video to show the people that do know about plasma fire that this was 100% indeed plasma fire. Look at this car. Look at the wood right next to it. The straight line right here where all the slats 
go from 100% burned on this car, on this side, 0% on this side. Because on one side, you had that, that's the perimeter of the car burning. The car burning has a perimeter of burn area that surrounds the car like that, like it's a conductor of electricity, like it's an antenna drawing the energy. And that's why that those wooden slats look the way they do. 100% burned. Once they get close enough to the car, 0% burned at a very fine line between the burn on the car side and the unburn away from the car. A little frustrating. Notice the trees. Notice the total devastation in between the trees. Notice the leaves on all of the trees. What more do we need to see? It's plasma fire. But one thing I will say is that this is a beach resort popular with tourists. Like Lahaina. Like the fires on the Isle of Rhodes in Greece. This happens to be something that, uh, a repeating pattern where people that want to build giant hotels and really high-end resorts, but there's a bunch of locals that were residents there for generations living in these little huts and shacks that won't sell their land, well, the only way to get it from them is to burn them out. So, that may be what we're seeing here. It just happens to be a, repeati a repeating pattern from Lahaina to this area where the locals, and it's a popular with tourists area, and I'm sure now big hotels and resorts will move in and build giant skyscraper type uh, hotels and stuff. Trees remaining. Uh, this is a pattern that I'm noticing a lot of where the top has been burned off. And I'm sure the things inside are also burned. But it's because of the material it's made out of that we're not seeing this in in the united states and in canada and in other western countries the houses when they burn are reduced to a white powder and you don't even see a toilet or anything made out of ceramic like a tub or a sink reduced to white powder there's nothing left but in these again there's trees in between all the burnt houses but the difference here is many of these did not get reduced to a white powder on the ground they still have some sort of structural integrity remaining because they are made out of the uh, non-flammable material of brick but it's also non-conductive it doesn't have metal and rebar and wire running through it and that's why so many of these that's why so many of these have uh, what appears to be the roofs burned off and probably maybe the windows melted out too so there's just another example melted rims I think we already saw that image Trees, leaves, looks like a wooden post here in the middle. Leaves, still on the trees. And all the trees are standing in between the devastation. It gets a bit repetitive. There's some other things coming up though, so stick around. I'm not going to make this a very long video. Look at all the trees. They're showing you this weird angle of a camera, probably to show you all the trees in the foreground, in the background, everywhere. This one, I'm not sure, man. Is that wood? Is that like a wooden infrastructure? That's on the... I think that's the, I'm not sure, Arigang News, A-R-I-R-A-N-G, -R -R -A, a Japanese news network, I believe. All the trees, still standing, many with leaves, still on them, just like that. Plasma fire, 100%. Because, to burn from one house to the other, you would need foliage in between. And people say, oh, I'm, I'm not going to try and convince anyone that doesn't get it. If you don't get it, watch my old videos. If you don't want to get it, then don't worry about it. This is plasma fire. I'm going to show you a short video where all of these leaves are burning independently and simultaneously like they are the end of a fiber optic cable. Oh, more trees and leaves and roots and everything around that's wooden and unburned.
melted rims, melted glass, missing door handles, all the same patterns that I've pointed out hundreds of times, trees in the background, trees right here in front of the devastated car that's completely demolished, yet this tree right here, the bark on the outside is a little bit singed. That's a repetitive pattern. That's a plasma fire burn signature. Trees, trees everywhere, totally untouched. In between all of the total devastation. Trees, trees everywhere. Why am I still the only one that sees this? India Today, that is the news clip that I will throw linked in the description that gives you seven or eight minutes of flyover with zero commentary. Now I know people are gonna go, oh look, blue things don't burn, blue things don't burn. Those are probably tarps that were thrown up afterwards to give temporary shelter. But what I would like to look at, is that raw wood? Is there a reason that didn't burn? Either way, you focus on blue things that didn't burn instead of the trees in between that didn't burn, and you're guaranteed to not get people to understand what's going on here. And maybe it's better that way. Chase that blue herring if you wish. But this looks like a wooden infrastructure building without any metal in it. So that's probably why it didn't burn. Even though it's raw wood, which is highly flammable, it didn't have any of the conductive material in it. So yeah, India Today flyover, it's almost an eight minute long video that shows you nothing but visuals. It might have a little bit of music going in the background, but no narration. And that's a little tough to find. Usually it's a two or three minute clip uh, news segment, and you only get five seconds of images here and there. But again, I just feel like I'm repeating myself. Trees, trees everywhere in between all the destruction. Yet they call it a wildfire or a forest fire. How about a structure fire? So here we have more examples of the roofs, the tops of these buildings that are burned off, but the building itself, the walls remain intact. And these are just screenshots of a flyover. You click the link in the description of the India Today news segment. And you'll just be able to see the flyover and it'll give you a better visual than anything, any other news segment that I came across. There's a red tent propped up. Those blue tents are probably very similar. Same thing. And all the trees everywhere that are unburned. That's what matters, not blue things. Even fence posts. See this fence over here, wooden fence? You'd think that would burn, right? but it's not conductive of the electricity. And if it's got more conductive material near it, that will conduct the electricity. Another example where the roofs burned off, but the walls remain. So these plasma fires leave behind a slightly different pattern than the ones in the US and other places because the building material that is used, trees, trees everywhere, Melted cars. We're going to get to showing you some cars that are stacked on top of each other and turned upside down. This, this one. And two right here. You'll get a better view here in a moment. Those are both upside down. This happened in the Paradise, California fires where cars were flipped over. 
And I think some people say, well, maybe it's the exploding gas tank flips the car over when it explodes. I think it's more like an electromagnetic thing when you pull two magnets together and they're uh, facing negative to negative or positive to positive. You can try to push them together and they won't go together, but as soon as it flips, they suck together. And if there's electromagnetic frequencies going through the ground and it, the, the car has that same effect, it's magnetized with a positive on one side and a positive on the other, it makes it flip. Just like a magnet will flip 180 degrees instantly in order to stick to the other magnet. I believe that's what we're seeing here. That's two cars that are upside down right next to each other. They're both upside down. And across the street, there's another one. You have one over here on its side and one that looks like it's lifted up. The ass end is all lifted up in the air. And in this India Today video, they focus on the melted aluminum rivets, uh, rivulets, little rivers running down the road. They zoom in nice and close. I didn't zoom that in. They zoom in in the India Today news clip. There's one stacked on top of another. There's two stacked on top of them. One right here, stacked on top of the other cars. One right here, stacked on top of another car. Explain that shit. Why am I still the only one that sees this? Oh, and all the trees everywhere that are unburnt without any leaves. There's still more good stuff to come. It's not just all repetition. So, these type of resorts and high-rise hotel buildings and offices are probably what's going to replace all those little shacks that got burned. Here, you see the wind blows the opposite direction of the movement of the fire. I've seen this plenty of times. This ain't the first time. The burn area is over here. Over here is unburned area. So, if would appear by the burned area that the fire is moving this direction and it's already burned everything over here and everything is unburned over here but you can see by the smoke it's moving the opposite direction I've seen images like this over and over and over again where the smoke is actually coming back over the burn area which means if the, if the wind was all that was going to move the fire that the fire would be headed that direction but you can tell by the burn area and the unburn area that the fire is actually moving this direction because it's already burned this area and this is unburned over here so it's actually moving upwind I've seen these images over and over and over enough to know that that's what we're looking at these uh, the ion wind makes the wind blow in the exact opposite direction of the movement of the fire the fire goes upwind trees all around in between and surrounding all the devastation many even got their leaves on them see the leaves leaves on the tree though the tree is singed scorched it still has its leaves we're going to show you some of those leaves burning here in a minute look at all the unburned wood and leaves and twigs these buses No glass. That's not the type of destruction that happens in a fire. Only in these kinds of fires. And these leaves that we're about to show you, they all burn simultaneously. So I'm going to repeatedly play the very last two seconds of this coverage by Arigang News where it looks like every leaf on the tree is burning independently. Not one leaf or the fire moving through the tree where it's catching some leaves on fire. Here we go in three, two, one, right there. All the leaves are burning independently. I've got it slowed down to a quarter speed, 0 0.25 speed, because they only play it for the last two seconds. But as you can see, all the leaves are burning independently from one another. 
This image is more like what you would expect. A ball of flame moving through the trees where ten where the leaves are all on fire and then they catch the next one on fire as they move through the tree. What we're seeing at the very last two seconds here is like the whole tree electrified and each one of those leaves is looking like a fiber optic filament, like that's where the electricity is exiting through. Each one of them burning simultaneously, not one catching the next on fire and then catching the next on fire and then catching the one next to it on fire. Each one of them is caught on fire, glowing independently and simultaneously as if the tree itself has a trillion volts flowing through it. That's just the final still frame without their advertisements blocking half of the view. I don't want to spend too much time on it, but I think there's a reason they only throw this in for the final two seconds. You get a glimpse of it. Because if you were to look for a little while at that, you would notice something about that tree burning that's just a little different than what fire normally does as fire moves through a tree, catching some leaves on fire. Like, all of these over here would have flame coming off of them, reaching over in this direction over here as it moves through the tree. But that's not what we're seeing. Each leaf is burning independently, not catching fire because of the leaf next to it has flames that are reaching up and moving over to it, catching it on fire. They're all burning independently and simultaneously. Like you're looking at the very tip of fiber optic cables.